So, number 10. Number 10. What's number 10? <laughs> <laughs> Hey guys, it's Jessica here and welcome back to the fourth episode of our Chabaho series. So, today as you can see from my outfit, I'm not out in the field. <laughs> and I hope it's going to be a lot more chill. <laughs> but we still don't know yet. So anyways, as you can see my background, today I am working at a cafe. We are going to be working at a local cafe here in Rizal, which supports local farm businesses by getting the supplies of local coffee beans. And it's actually a joint space with a Filipino restaurant. As you can see over here, this is like Filipino restaurant, Shempre. So it's like Kubo vibes over here. It's like so nice, the vibe here. It's like a nice getaway place from your hard reality. This is the cafe I'm going to be working at. Let's go. Small local businesses and startups are the true backbones of the Philippine economy. Micro, small and medium enterprises, MSMEs, account for 99.51% of the businesses in the Philippines. Their impact is felt from their innovative concepts and product to employment. MSMEs generated over 5 million jobs for Filipinos, a stark contrast to the 3 million plus jobs generated by large enterprises. Some of the most popular local businesses in the country are coffee shops. Though they were affected during the COVID-19 pandemic, the industry is thriving as seen in the growing number of local coffee shops operating in the country. That's because local coffee shops, unlike mainstream coffee giants, offer a unique experience to Filipinos. They give a feeling of comfort and relaxation and offer a sense of community. Today, I'll be working at a local cafe in Rizal to show you what that experience is like. To have a shared experience where you feel like you belong and you matter, where relationships are formed and where great memories are made. So the vibes are very, it's very local. I can feel the local vibes. They even have like merch over here. So this one is also like an art cafe where you can also like see an art gallery upstairs. I checked it out and it was really nice. Their menu. They have grab. Since the time I entered, I really want to try that the, the Oreo cheesecake over there. But anyway, so Mama Yapa, Mama Yapa. I came here to work. They have milk tea, my favorite milk tea pa. Hi. Hi, I'm Marge. I'm the owner of Travi Cafe. Early as 2016, but actually at the time we started as a part of Hiraya restaurant where we're currently in. 2017, we transferred to another space and then that's where Travi started. Travi actually means travel and bike. Well, actually we were closed for a year and it was really bad for everyone including my staff. Even yung biyahe mahira for them so we can't require them to really go to their work. And then because it's an open space, mm. it was actually a a bad thing that tried to be a good thing. It's a, an alfresco space. So when people knew that we're opening, ah, pasok tayo dito, open space, pwede ang bata. Yeah. The cafe culture dito sa Pinas, it's yes. been kind of booming up. Especially nowadays, when a lot of baristas mm. open their own coffee shops. Mm -hmm. When that happens, sunod -sunod na yun. It's like a spark for everyone. Because I think most people really like coffee. It's actually part of the morning routine. Mm -hmm. What people really don't notice is that Philippines are really good in coffee. We have a lot of coffee farms from the zone from to Benguet until the Mindanao. I actually had lunch a while ago at Hiraya. What do you think this place contribute to the local economy? Travi really support the local farmers. For the beans we actually use currently, we have Sultan Kodarat. Mm -hmm. We do also have Bukidnon. We're hoping to get a, another set of Mount Apo. And it's very rare that people get to see more of the Filipino stuff than to say. If you're gonna create a coffee shop using an espresso machine, you would need at least 200000 because a coffee machine is quite expensive. Mm -hmm. Meaning they try to do the alternative one, the artisan way of creating coffee. Actually, it's fun, especially if you have a very supportive family and friends to go with you. It takes a lot of guts. It really doesn't depend on the money. Because mm -hmm. sometimes you can even start small. 
Currently, we don't rent here because it's actually a family space. But I think the rent outside is around 10,000 to 20,000. Uh, before the pandemic, it's really hard for us to sell at some point. And then after the pandemic, it's quite boom. So we sort of ranges around 10 to 20. And then for the salary of the barista, I think it's around 400 a day for some. Mm -hmm. What works with it is that when you learn along the way, it's the salary. Now, we're finally going to learn what to do from Ate Mika. Hi. Hi! Welcome to Travi. Here's Thank your you. apron. Wow! <laughs> so, I'm an official worker, guys. Wow! Ganda ng kulay! Yeah. Guys, actually, since the time I came in, this cafe is very high tech, very yamani yamani. Grabe, they even have this. The col the the, vi the vibrating thing. I was gonna say vibrator, oh my god. <laughs> I rated SPG. What's this? Uh, that's the burnt bass cheesecake. Are you Ah, makatiramisu. Do you bake it here? Ah, uh, no. We, we have, have a supplier. It. Yes, we have a supplier. Also local, naman. Yes, local. Wow. Mm. Can we eat? <laughs> okay, so yeah. here's our machine, automatic mm. grinder, like this. It ends automatically, right? Yes. Ah, it only comes from one. Yes. Do you like the drink? Try. Okay. <laughs> I'll try the espresso. So, Ata, do you just drink anything you want to drink every day? Yes. For uh, free? Yes. Uh, may free drinks coming for a day. Uh, <gasps> isa lang? Isa lang, yeah. Isa lang? Esta This is Robusta from Baguio. I think Sultan Kedarat. Chocolatey. Yeah. Uh, there's a very nice um, sour flavor, yes. which is not really a characteristic of Robusta. Yes. Oh, that's cool. That's yeah. Cool. <laughs> but it's kind of bitter because it's espresso. <laughs> so where did you dump that here? Yes. Do you have a like a? This one. Ah, okay. Thank you. Guys, actually, my mom has a cafe, so I got a barista certificate. Then. But I've never seen this one. Uh, this one, you'll generate it. How many times? Uh, oh, it's okay. <laughs> it's okay, na? Ah, it's just to... Okay. Ito. Ah, ito. What are these? This one is for the uh, single shot, double shot, ah. or the espresso. Oh. Did it come out like this when you did it? Hmm, yes. Really? Why is it like kind of weird when I do it? <laughs> oh, it's not? Actually, it's okay because it's more crema. Ah, crema. okay. Because it's like it's clean on the around. This one, it's so messy. Madumi, yeah. <laughs> so, what's your best seller here? The Spanish latte. The Spanish latte. Yes. So, how do you make? Uh, for the Spanish latte, the sweetener is condensed milk. Oh, guys, there's the the Oreo cheesecake. Oh yeah, there's also boba here, right? Hmm. Nupi, okay. I also want that. Oh, so there's onto how how much do you put? This one. Are oh, you just eyeballing it? Yes. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> you're just eyeballing it? <laughs> ah, okay, okay. <laughs> and then one shot. Grab she just eyeballed it, guys. <laughs> okay, mix mix. Hmm. Then put ice here. Sanang ice. How much ice? Full. Guys, the truth is, when you go to the cafe, it's really the taste of the ice that makes it different. So, a lot of ice. Okay. Yeah. And then, uh, step. Yeah. Oh! Ah, so it's like the, uh, in Korea, there's a coffee called Vienna coffee. But Vienna. I think. Uh, uh, Vienna coffee. Vienna. Yeah. The lid is. Oh! Wow! Should try it. <gasps> Can I just try all the coffee lang? Make try. Make try. <laughs> so what's the hardest drink to make? Yung kape suada. Medyo matagal kasi sa pero okay naman. Oh, 
It's really good. Oh, you can really taste the condensada. <laughs> <laughs> thank you for the work today. I'm gonna go home now. Thank <laughs> no, you. we're not yet done. Thank you. <laughs> One, two, three, four. Yeah. Then ice. Ulit. Then milk. Achaka milk. Ah, uh -uh. milk. This one. Ah, okay. Do I stir it for them or no? No. Okay. When do you use the na circle na lid or in the Ah, uh, for the prop. A prop? Ah. Uh -uh. Okay, number nine. Just kidding. So I'm gonna put it here? Yeah. <laughs> like here? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Mm. Ah, number ten. Mm. When you try your best, but you don't succeed. Ah, uh, Java chip prop. Yung sa milk ang ganito. Yan. Ah, eyeball again. Kadami. Like the art of eyeballing. Ah, uh, two scoop of rapis, tapos two scoop nung Java chip. And then? Then, yellow. The low one. Oh. Ah, yun lang. Walang coffee? Wala. Last okay. coffee. Oh, nice! Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm gonna destroy the cream! No. Oh, <laughs> ah. Rosy, ate. Ate. Number nine, that's call. Oh, call. Yeah. Alright, oh, it's like, oh, guys, it's even touch. It's not like press, press, it's touch. Very, very amanid! <laughs> so normally, you just leave it there and you go back, right? Ah. Ate po, number nine. Thank you, po. Enjoy! Thank you! So, number 10. Okay, number 10. That's number 10. <laughs> wow, look up. <laughs> this one, for oh, ancient so gummy thing. Mm -hmm. Kasi may sobra talaga siya minsan. You wanna try? Who wants free java chip? Sayang. Yes. Can I put it here? Sure. Oh. Oh. I invented a new menu. Coffee taho. Oh, this is also number 5, right? This is number 5, right? Is number Kingdom. five? Anyone number five? Mika sama pa yan? Ilan? A joke lang pala. Mika sama pa pala. Oh yeah. The lost cheesecake. Sino ang cheesecake? The cheesecake lost its owner. Thank you! Thank you! Oh, do you come here often? Hmm. Oh. She's my sister. Oh! Yes. Oh! Oh! Hi! What's your favorite menu here? Uh, the cappuccino. Oh, the cappuccino. Yeah. The ice. Ate. Yes. Parang ganun? Ah, ah. Yan. It doesn't come out. Ah, bitaw mo lang. Huh? Ah. Ah, okay. Oh, okay. Oh, sorry, sorry. Spanish, okay. Come. So, I'm gonna eyeball just like the way I ate did. Ate, around this much, right? Ah, ah. Okay. Yan. Espresso. Tapos, seal natin. Ah, because it's takeout? Uh-uh. For the grab. Guys, this is the one they have in Gongcha. Mmm. You can do it. It's clean. Just wait. It's clean. Sorry, that took one hour, right? Sorry, sorry, sorry. Medyo magulo doon. Yeah, here you go. How are you? Do you guys come here often? No, this is our first time. Ay, how did you know? From the internet, we just look for something to visit here. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hi, Aso. Because we came from Chesapeake. Oh, you came all the way here? Oh my God, just for this cafe? Yes. Is it worth it? Yeah. Okay, enjoy. Hi guys, how are you enjoying your time at the Kubo? Yeah, good. It's good? Mm -hmm. Sino? Sino? To. Okay, okay. Got cappuccino. Milk tea. Wow, tell me if it's good because I haven't tried. Uh, you know guys, uh, I'm, I was a big boba fan ever since, so <sighs> I'm hungry already. <laughs> Garlic tomato pasta. Garlic tomato pasta. 
Do you sell garlic tomato pasta here? Oh, you don't sell that here. One hazelnut latte. Tall na cold brew. The change is 35. Can you come back when you receive the... Okay. How's your job experience here so far? Perfect. My free drink every day. Yes. So guys, thank you for waiting for one hour. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So do you like this cafe, Naman? A lot. Oh. I used to go here. Why you love cafe or you love the vibe or the other? I was supposed to work here. Ah, like me? Mm -hmm. <laughs> 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 just kidding. Just kidding. Yes, it's a long Yes, for okay. One twenty. Um. So is this the hardest to make? Uh, not really the hardest, but the longest time. Does it taste good? I made it. I poured my heart oh. into it, so. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> sure, sure, sure. Well, it's good. Oh, really? <laughs> Thank you. All right, guys. So we finished the work of the day. How did I do out there? Ah, you did a really great job. Really? <laughs> yeah. Really? Ah, uh, I think it's nine out of ten. Medyo na tagalan lang na onti tayo dahil din sa dumami yung customer. Yeah, yeah. Mobilis yung flow. Di ba yun? Yeah. My teamwork. Yes, yes, yes. Diba? My teamwork. Perfect. Our teamwork. <laughs> Parang like we were partners oh. like in past life. Yeah. Oh, right. So do you like it, the ma? Barista, barista? Yes, uh, actually, um, first work ko is barista din. Oh. Pero I graduated uh, culinary arts, pero oh. hindi ko siya pinurso. Oh. Mas nagkaroon ako ng passion for the host. Masaya kasi yung environment pag nag interact ka with the customers, yeah. na nagiging regulars, na nagiging yeah. friends. Super nakaka-enjoy na, may nakaka-appreciate dun sa yeah. little things na ginagawa mo. Yeah, yeah. like the bond, di ba? Mm. Mga, like, really like a community, mm. di ba? Not like a uh, store customer, uh, di ba? Yeah. Wait, so, anong salary ko of the day? Hang iyong salary! <laughs> Guys, for the first right episode one to three, it was all three hundred. No more hundred. I'm gonna buy milk tea and Oreo cheesecake. cheesecake. Yeah, Oreo cheesecake. What do you mean, mo? Ano ang future of the cafe industry of the Philippines? Actually, last year, mga kabataan. Medyo na enjoy na nila yung pag drink ng coffee. Mm, yeah. Uh, mas, booming, right? Uh -oh. yeah. Ako personally may iron din ako ng sarili kong malit na online shop. Pero yeah. coffee yung sinesell ko. Tapos ninakikita ako na papansin ko sa mga um order. Almost puro kabataan. Mm. So mas na appreciate nila. Kaya mas siguro after 10 years, mm -hmm. Rabi is still Rabi. Mm. Wow. <laughs> And Marge is gonna like that. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Oh, he also supports local businesses. Mm. Like uh -huh. all the suppliers are mostly from local. Local, yeah. Because we don't have to help. We can help Pinoy. Mm -hmm. so, thank you so much, Ate, for teaching Thanks. me today. Thank, thank you. you. <laughs> to be honest, compared to the last three episodes that we did, not easy, not easier, but then uh, much more, I guess, like chill. Yeah, I had so much fun. Also because my mom also owns a cafe, right? I I really love coffee and I also help my mom sometimes but this is also a totally different style of cafe, right? I had to adjust to a new environment, getting the hang of it and um, interacting with the people in this particular community was a very special experience for me. Cafe culture in Korea is actually really crazy. More than the mainstream cafes, the franchise cafes, it's really the local and individual cafes that really prosper a lot. But then the difference I think was coffees don't grow in Korea. But then here, coffees grow here. It's a very good way to support local business, the local farms. And I was really shocked their coffee because I know Robusta, it's usually very bitter taste. But then this one had a very fruity taste as well. This particular space, uh, comparing it to many other cafes in Korea, there's a sense of community. And I think that's a very important element that makes you attached to this space because many people in Korea go to trendy cafes. Oh, this cafe is trending, so we go there. It's like cafe hopping culture. Not necessarily there's a go-to cafe I always go to. That's why, you know, it was very warm. Like the order, yeah, when ang um, daming daming order, we were pretty late serving it, but they were all like, okay, okay, they understand. 
Yeah, I think I can do way more. I was inspired. <laughs> My mom's cafe is also kind of like this vibe. Dalaga, actually. Well, I also got to appreciate the role of my mom's cafe and the role of these kind of cafes and the kind of effect that it gives to the consumers, the customers. There should be more of these kind of cafes in the future, honestly, because it really serves the very purpose of cafes, like interaction. Fighting to all the local business owners and cafe owners out there. Alright guys, so thank you so much for watching the fourth episode of Trabajo. Let me know in the comments down below what kind of job you want me to try in the future. And I'm going to take this beautiful apron home, so yeah. Thank you so much for watching. Bye! Bye! <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, the winter melon milk tea. And then they actually gifted me the apron. Oh my god! Oh.